Hi, this is Mark Morell, and I'm from Toon Barn, and we're here at Comic-Con, and I'm here with Jay Oliva, director of the Flashpoint Paradox. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Now, this is a very uh, different story for our Justice League, isn't it, because of the, the whole going back in time and changing the universe, sort of. Oh, it's a very different story. Although it does kind of keep with the whole, uh, you know, what if storyline, like what if, you know, uh, a character didn't exist or what if a character went back in time and changed something and have the rippling effect. So it still has that very kind of time travel feel to it. Um, but at the same time, it has a twist because, you know, we're dealing with superheroes that we all love and, 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 we, and we think we know. And so in this new universe, we're very, it's... It's shocking to see where they've gone to. Mm -hmm. Was there any point in, in the making of this where you, you did a scene, but it had to go to the cutting room floor and you really wanted to fight for it? Uh, let me think. I think for the most part, everything kind of fit in there. I mean, I would have loved a little bit more sequences uh, with like Deathstroke because we were able to have Ron Perlman again, and I love him as Deathstroke. And I wish we just had a little bit more, but you know what? Who knows? Maybe we'll do a Deathstroke movie and I can use him again and just have him just be badass the whole movie. But uh, other than that, I think we put in everything that I always wanted to do in this in this film. It's all there, you know, and, and I think, you know, uh, the fans will enjoy all the little Easter eggs I put into it. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank